Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. And what a game this promises to be, Stuart. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. Younes Belhenda. And dispossessed. Well, high marks for that pass. Can he put them in front? Well, it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. He's driven in the corner. Lindel. And using his strength to shield them. Missing the target by a tiny margin. Well, it's a difficult skill to get right, but he almost pulled it off there. He made such good contact with the ball. Tremendous challenge. They couldn't maintain possession. Delhi. On to Balotelli. Matias Vargas. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. Can they take the lead here? An important challenge, but they must remain organised. They'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Lindel. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Delhi. Here's Belhenda. Chance to attack using width. And pull back. Must take the lead here. Touched onto the woodwork. He succeeds in clearing it. Well, you sense it's just a matter of time before they do score, Derek. They've been piling on the pressure now and really should be ahead in this one. Chance to cross. Really getting stuck in. Well, as you can see, the hosts have had most of the ball, but without really creating too many chances. Which, when you look at the players out on the pitch, it's really disappointing. They need to play with far more urgency to win this game. Might be dangerous. An attack full of promise of risk there but he's won the ball take it away 
Verlanda. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. The first half here comes to an end. Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And everyone here on Tenterhooks, you'd have to say with good reason. It's Australia and they take on New Zealand. Thanks Derek as always, this should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium, we've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Abby Ersek. Bowen. Anali Longo. Well, you can sense the threat is there. It needs an accurate cross. Riley. It is to be a throw in. Tamika Yallop. Getting forward. And let's give credit to the defending. White. Bowen. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Now a decent position. And crossing towards the far post. A corner will ensue. Come on, let's go, let's go!
Over it comes. Just too much loft. Van Egmond. Simon. On to Rasso. And the attack looks promising. Crossing into the middle. Ready to fire. To take the lead. And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. The opening goal of the game then. Longo. Moving the ball forward with purpose. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, there you can see it. The hosts haven't been able to control possession, but when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. Deflected behind, corner forthcoming. And short it is. And it might be. Really vital interception here. And providing width. Longo. White. Oh, good vision. Well, it looked like a good ball, but cut out in the end. Really good challenge. Simon. Emily van Egmond. Can they trouble the opposition this time? And a chance to whip it in here. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Olivia Chance. Can she score? And a goal. The equaliser. Superb entertainment. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. And so it is. The first-half story has been written.
And a warm welcome to the Basque region here in Spain. We're in the wonderful city of Bilbao at the Estadio San Mames. I'm Derek Ray, getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And on the menu, action from Europe's Premier Club competition, the Champions League. This, the first leg of the semi-final. What a match this promises to be, Stuart. Well, what a semi-final we should be in store for today. Yes, the hosts are clear favourites to reach the final, but their opponents are dangerous and come here full of confidence, desperate to cause an upset. It has the making of a classic cup tie. Let's hope we're not disappointed. It might be. A wonderful intervention. Now let's run the rule over the Athletic Bilbao starting lineup. Inigo Martinez plays with Yerai in central defence. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Well, so much to like about Munyain and his ability to dictate the terms. What do you anticipate seeing from him in this one, Stuart? Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas. Oh, look can... at this, Stuart, an opportunity. What a save. Keen to take it short here. Teammates in the middle. Well, he was closely marked, but the header well off target. A strong tackle. Well, getting the ball forward. Danny Garcia. That's very effective. Good high pressing. From the back. Oh, nice work to get past his opponent. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Garcia. Alex Berenguer. It's with Williams. And it crossed the byline, a goal kick as a result. And using his strength to shield the ball. Marius Nubisi. Well timed tackle. Williams. Now Raul Garcia. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Raphael Holzhauser. Over the touchline for a throw in. Danny Garcia. Garcia. Return to Raul Garcia. Can they forge ahead? Williams. Opportunity here. And a goal! The opener in the semi final. First goal of the contest.
Well, here it is again. And just look how he turns away from his marker and then gets his shot away. That's a very good goal, you have to say. Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. I'm Derek Ray and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And without doubt a match with the potential to bring genuine excitement. It's Belgium versus Mexico. Well, thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Antonio. Excellent defending. And the cross is very much on. Not away completely. Well, no luck keeping possession. Antonio. Stephanie Mayor. Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. And winning it back. Moving the ball forward with purpose. A sloppy pass. And space here on the flank. Interception to snuff out the danger. Bernal. Caramillo, Antonio, Caramillo, just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. Promising looking attack from Belgium. Can't miss, surely! And a goal! Now they have their opener, and now they can 
celebrate. One nil then. Antonio. Mayor. So getting close to the half time interval, and it's going with home advantage, albeit not by a lot. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen so far? Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half-time. Promising move. Fruitful-looking attack. Now a decent position. Opportunity here. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. And back now with Gonzalez. Antonio on the offensive. Oh, surely! Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. And over comes the corner. Cleared away. This could level it. An important challenge, but they must remain organised. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match.
And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. Stuart, this should be high-intensity stuff. Well, thanks, Derek. This should be a tight group, so it's vital these teams get off to a good start here. This should be a very competitive game tonight. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Fluency of movement. Useful looking ball. And a goal! Just what the fans wanted to see. The ideal way to begin. Well, here we can see it again. And it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Sabatini. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Lovric. Will he find the net? And another one! Two quick goals! Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? Well, a second goal for them here. The cross is on. Cuts in from the flank. No nonsense clearance. Sabatini. And a creative look about this. Well, they might be onto something. Routine, really. As you can see, the visitors have had much less of the ball. But what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. Can he finish this? In it goes! But wait a minute, that will not count. Well, that was tight, but he was just offside. It was a good finish, though. Well, on the cusp of the half-time interval, and the visitors are prospering. Stuart, what have you made of their performance? Well, they've played some really good football up to now. In particular, the way they've got it into their front players has been excellent. I've also liked the movement of the strikers. They just now need to take this forward into the second half. Daprella. Lovric. Getting forward. But really sticking to the task defensively. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Taking care of business defensively here. 
The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game.